Welcome back to my channel Joyful Adventure Audits. Today we are visiting a legendary abandoned music venue in Birmingham called the Q Club. The Q Club has a seriously cool history. This venue is located inside the historic Central Methodist Hall building on Corporation Street, which still stands today but has been abandoned for several years. Back in the day, the Q Club hosted shows by huge artists like David Bowie, Blur, The Chemical Brothers, and even Daft Punk. It became kind of like a religious experience for ravers and electronic music heads in the 90s. Now sadly, this iconic building has been completely empty and left to decay since the Q Club shut down in 2017. You can still see traces of the amazing concerts and parties that happened here. Abandoned rooms where people used to rave all night long. Not only is the interior amazing to see, the building itself is a spectacular piece of architecture with impressive stained glass windows. It's currently on the Heritage at Risk Register in England. Before becoming the legendary The Q Club in 1989, this site had an extensive history as a Methodist church called the Central Methodist Hall. The impressive building was constructed way back in 1904 in a Baroque style of architecture, with the magnificent auditorium meant for congregations of worshippers. Even during its years as a buzzing nightclub venue, the building still functioned as an active Methodist church space on Sundays when no concerts or parties were happening. After standing over a century as both a functioning church and music venue, the Central Methodist Hall tragically landed a spot on the Heritage at Risk Register in England, meaning this historic structure is endangered. Its new owners plan to restore the auditorium and stained glass windows back to their former glory as a concert hall and event space, but these restoration plans have been delayed for years. For now, the crumbling remains of this cultural landmark await a joyful rebirth. If you or anyone you know has photographs from the glory days of the Q Club's rave scene or church events, we would absolutely love to feature them. You can email any old pics or stories to bring more life to these empty halls by finding our contact email address in the description bio. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey uncovering Birmingham's coolest abandoned venue. Stay joyful, adventurers. I can't help but think, if these walls could talk, the stories they would tell. Just imagine standing here back in 1997, surrounded by screaming fans as David Bowie himself takes the stage for an unbelievable performance. The sweaty euphoria when those first synth notes of Daft Punk's Around the World remix drop, sending the crowded dance floor into utter mayhem. Legends grace this exact spot. Beyond the concerts, this historic hall hosted some of Britain's most legendary raves and club nights. Retro telepathy, House of God, those nights became the stuff of Birmingham rave lore. Generation after generation of partygoers flocked here every weekend to experience that raw, unadulterated joy of dancing the night away with friends. As morning light shone in through those towering stained glass windows signaling the party's end, there must have been an electric magic in the air. Oh, how I wish we could bring this beloved venue back to life, 
even for just one more unforgettable evening. For now, all that remains are memories eternally embedded into these historic bricks and bones. As we conclude this adventure down memory lane, I want to thank you all for joining me uncovering the incredible history hidden within this abandoned gym on Corporation Street. From David Bowie to Jungle Raves, the Q Club has certainly left its mark on Birmingham's cultural landscape. If you enjoyed learning about this legendary lost music venue, make sure to subscribe to Joyful Adventure Audits. We have tons more videos investigating the secret stories of abandoned buildings and forgotten history hidden throughout Birmingham and the West Midlands region. From closed corner pubs to open ghost sightings to Second City urban legends, we cover it all. Leave me suggestions in the comments for what else you'd like to see on future adventures. And please like and share this video if you want to see the Q Club brought back to life. Now on this fine Christmas day, I wish you all happy holidays and many more magical joyful adventure audit videos to come in 2024.